It is time for more Minecraft Bingo. I'm on my own looking at seed 11016 for Bingo. And this is a challenging card. The middle column requires fishing and getting some gunpowder. The right column requires a diamond. And every other column requires something at least as bad. So I think those are the ones we're looking at. Don't know the spawn point. All right, I'm looking around here. Did the emerald help me out? Not really. We could go in that extreme hills. This is a boats, boats, boats week. And yeah, I really don't know what I want to go for on this card. I guess let's head in the direction where there might be spruce and try to go for that middle column. I think that seems not unreasonable. We're just going to leave the boat behind. Use it as a way to get over here quicker. Try to get somewhere where we can get our sapling. I see some stone over to the right. And then hope we find a surface dungeon that has some gunpowder and a couple of string in it. I think that sounds like at least a plan to go for, but if we do see a cave that seems like it's going all the way down to the bottom, we could also go for that crazy diamond row. Okay, let's come back for the sapling in a moment. But yeah, this is one of those cards where I'll be really curious to see what options people go for, uh, and if people go for different options, or if people actually hold off making a decision until they get a little ways into the card, which usually means the card is going to go badly. But maybe not always. Is there anything we need to cook right off the bat? There is the clay, so it's probably worth getting all of the usual starting stones so that we can make a furnace. And I haven't seen a cave system yet. So we have to go back for our sapling, which happily was right there. And then let's continue forward and look for caves and clay and sugarcane. There was sugarcane back at the spawn, but I'm sure I'll see some more. Here's some clay. So we need to look for an opportunity to set the furnace down for 30 seconds. And let's see, not immediately seeing sugarcane right there. Not seeing a cave. I do see some food animals, which we might end up needing on this card. So it'll take a minute to kill them. So let's do this. And by a minute, I mean less than a minute, but you know. Got to do what you got to do. I see pumpkins over there. There are pumpkin seeds in the card. If we see a jungle, that could be a thing to go for. And let's see. I could also be cooking up these guys. Um, and I can imagine wanting another furnace. So while the clay is cooking up, we can do that. OK, that's good. Let's go ahead and craft this. And just in case, somehow I end up going for the painting, we can go ahead and have it ready to go. We can have the furnace ready to go. We can have some torches in case we bust into a dungeon all of a sudden. And we will have a little bit of food as well, um, which will pop onto the bar. So I'm pretty happy with this. Let's move. And let's do go past the pumpkins. Yeah, I'm really not settled on a strategy at all here. But like I said, I'll be curious to see what others do. All right, so we grab that. If there's any sign of a jungle, all of a sudden we could switch to the bottom. We still need our sugar cane regard. Ooh. Let's take a risk. If we could find a diamond, 
the uh, right hand column starting to look pretty great. And this does seem like a uh, place to go very down very quickly. Uh, let's grab some of this first. And let's get it cooking as well. Because I would like to have the Um, do I have more coal right here? Probably not. That's unfortunate. Um, I guess let's move this back up here for the moment while I try to plan out what I'm going to do. I guess I need to jump down there. I still need a flint as well. Was there coal back here? Or gravel? Here's coal. And then I'm going to need 11, 14 iron, I think, for everything I'm doing. I might be able to find more iron up here. OK, so another one can go in here. And we can move these down here. And then with this, I'm going to need an iron pickaxe. I don't have enough wood. Gosh darn it. I didn't plan this out well enough. All right, we'll get a whole bunch of wood very quickly so that we can make a chest in case we don't find one. And where did it go? I chopped down more than that. Must have gotten stuck on a branch or something. OK, that'll be enough wood. We have food. Let's go ahead and craft up the chest. All right. And make the minecart and put a chest in it. OK, so I need five more iron, the diamond, and the other thing. And the best way to run will be this way. Uh, that was my crafting table, unfortunately, because I forgot to put blocks in the bar because I'm st stupid. <laughs> um, I don't need the lapis for anything. Oh, there's an emerald here. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm in trouble. Um, just in case we find an enderman and things change again. And let's do this. OK. So we cut off those bad guys. Now, unfortunately, this did not lead us to diamonds. And what level are we at? We're only at 33. So I think we have to dig down now. All right, so let's hope we don't dig into lava. OK, I actually hear like some kind of underground lake. Um, which is pretty great. It sounds like it's right over here. Yep, there it is. Oh, is that? Yep, there it is. It's a cave. And a lake. And some bad guys fighting each other, which is good for me. So we'll get the rest of this cooked up. We'll make another crafting table because we're going to need it. It's going to need to sit right here. Uh, I don't remember if I got my flint. <laughs> I did not, so I need to grab a flint and a diamond. OK. And the skeleton is dead. Long live the zombie. Apparently, the flint's going to be the hardest thing to get in the card. Um, let's do this. And uh, yeah, hey, creeper, can you see me and explode from here? Perfect. Or nearly so. OK, where's the diamond? Show me the diamond. Diamond. Diamond? No diamond. The other possibility is here. No diamond. 
What level am I at right now? Just at 16, so it would only be in the floor of this place. All right, well, let's go craft up our rails and continue to look around this cave. Creeper sadly did not explode a diamond in the floor right there. All right, but here's the rails. And let's hope that we can somehow get lucky. And in case I end up coming back this way, let's do this. Okay, is there a diamond down here? The answer may surprise you. It's probably more likely that it won't surprise you, but you never know. All right, so that didn't work. Should I just go digging again? Looked like there might be more cave right over here. Uh, so I think we have to hope for that possibility. Uh, where was it? Where did the zombies come from? Is it right up here? No. Where am I thinking about? I don't know. Um, yeah, I think it was there actually, okay. So this didn't really work. So let's just dig in another direction and hope that we get lucky with the diamond, I think. Yeah, level 12 is fine. Wish me luck. I heard some water, but it's all above my head. So that's not going to help us find the diamond, I don't think. There is a chance that our pickaxe will run out. So we'll do that just in case. I believe there's a zombie dungeon over here. So we'll do a little diversion over to it. Oh, guess what? It led us to diamonds. Hooray! Um, I guess out of curiosity, we have to take a look at the zombie dungeon. Oh, it wasn't a dungeon? Really? I guess not. And the other question is, there's the flowing water that I heard. There was an enderman up there. I could have gone after that as well. Um, but there were no diamonds here, it would appear. So skipping the flowing water that was above me was okay. And I don't think I missed any other diamonds in nearby cave systems, so just digging for it probably was reasonable. Uh, yeah, I'm not too unhappy with my strategy on this one, and I think I might end up actually, uh, might actually end up middle of the pack on this card at 13 minutes and 17 seconds. But it's hard to predict. In any case, this is definitely one where I look forward to comparing scores with all of you. I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Minecraft Bingo. For now, bye-bye. It is time for more Minecraft Bingo. I'm on my own looking at seed 11029 for five in a row bingo, and it looks like the middle row from the fireworks rocket to the cactus is just what you gotta go for in this card. Uh, the middle column is also not very bad, but it's really hard to pass up something that requires no iron. Uh, the nearest cactus, I guess, is a little bit of a conundrum. But it is a boats, boats, boats weekend, so we could just hop in a boat. And so, in terms of other things that I need, I need to grab some clay. Sand will be by the cactus. And I need to grab some sugar cane. So I think we could just hop in the boat and try to go grab all of those things. I think I will go ahead and do a little tree chopping at the outset, since we'll need to do it at some point. I'm not sure if I'm going to take a fall here or not. I think I will, actually. Uh, I guess not. Not very familiar with the shape of dark oaks. Okay. And... Um... Let's head this direction to start. We're looking for a desert, but I also happen to see 
some nice stone and what could be a dungeon around the corner. Who knows? There's a little indentation where there might be a cave. Don't hear any monsters, so the chances of it being a dungeon are actually quite low. But it was something that caught my eye, and I'm going to need tools for sure. Uh, because we need at least a furnace. Hmm, do I need more than that? One gunpowder. The shovel will be nice as well. And I guess I'll be picking up some things. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make all the usual tools. Even though it's a little less clear that we need them on this seed compared to many other seeds that I've played. Alright, but let's pick this up. Um, there's iron there, but I don't need iron on this card, so we're just going to keep moving. We're going to go try to find our clay and our cactus and some sugar cane. So when I see those things, that is when we get eager and anxious. There's pumpkins over there. Hi, pumpkins. Big, big ocean. And what looks like it might be a desert over here. Yes, I'm fairly certain. Uh, Mesa would be fine. We should be able to get a cactus, and I see some sugar cane. So we'll head directly towards that. And hopefully we'll see a cactus at some point, because I don't see one yet. And there is a little cave over there where we might be able to get gunpowder, so I might head over there next if we don't see a cactus right here. All right, but let's grab that. Grab the boat again. Quickly peek up here for the cactus. Uh, there's the cactus. And we just need the one. So let's go ahead and get that cooking up. And then we'll also need the three glass. And then we need the clay as other things to cook up. And I'm actually short on wood and don't see coal. So I think let's get moving again in the boat. Let's go looking for the other things. And hopefully we'll pick up either some coal uh, or a tree in the near future. But it looks like there's a cave here where we might be able to find gunpowder. Or coal. Uh, but in this case it is not, so we'll keep moving. And I have seen some gravel around. But let's see if we can see another sign of a cave system. Here's one. Gotta get our gunpowder somehow. Oops. Don't even know what happened to me there. Alright, sounds like there's monsters. Could be a good sign. Ah, uh, it is a good sign. Yeah, okay. We're gonna get our gunpowder. Okay. That could have gone slightly better, but it's okay. I don't even know. I guess it's a zombie dungeon? Yeah, it's a zombie dungeon. Okay, I don't see the gunpowder there. Or there, which is a bummer. I'm pretty sure I saw another creeper, though. Did the one creeper explode the other, or did he just walk around the corner? There is no corner to walk around. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Um, really thought we had great chances right there. And it didn't quite work out. I don't know if there was a saddle on this card, but I'll grab it just in case. And I don't need that. I do need this. And I could have had this going already. That's unfortunate. And we still need to look for a place where we can get gunpowder, unfortunately. Uh, there's some kind of cave over here that might have a monster in it. As well as maybe right there. This one does not. And that one, I think it still benefits us to hop back in here. Um, there's at least the gravel. Okay, great, got that. And there is a creeper down there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start cooking this up. And we also need the glass. 
And so we're going to start cooking that up. And we're going to eat this. And then we're going to go get our gunpowder from the creeper that I saw down here. Thought I saw a creeper anyway. Uh, maybe it was zombie villagers? They also have a lot of green to them. There's a skeletna down there. Uh, if there's not a creeper, then this isn't worth it, and it doesn't seem like there's a creeper here. Or a dungeon, and so I don't think I'm going to be able to get my gunpowder. So let's instead craft up these and these and these and now all I need is gunpowder I don't even need a crafting table at this point uh, so let's just head back out into the world and keep looking for that gunpowder okay this will not be the best time but I do think I have been unlucky that's kinda pretty actually that lava fall coming down, setting the world on fire. Fire! And I don't expect to need any other things, so I'm not going to chop down a tree. A tiny bit of food might be good. Um, if I were a creeper, I would be right down here. Nope. I was wrong. I am not good at getting myself into the mindset of a creeper, apparently. Perhaps I would be right down here. Seems plausible, right? Creeper, creeper, give me your gunpowder. Okay, three of them. Uh, let's use one to kill the other two. Yep, there's my gunpowder. I see a guy coming, but it's not a problem. Because we have bingo. Also, he wasn't coming. All right. Well, I did get what I was going for. And so that is definitely a good thing. Uh, but it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Seven minutes and 50 seconds. Eh, you can't complain too much about a sub 10. So, as always, I look forward to comparing scores with all of you. And I hope that you guys are having a great day. Bye-bye.